Hi, my name is Callum Henderson. Um, recently I wrote this post over at Church Mag and I thought I'd create a quick video about it, partly because I wanted to play with ScreenFlow, which is a new program I bought down here, uh, and partly because I wanted to have a look through creating an awesome video production logo. Now, I'm not sure if you know what a production logo is, but they're generally used by some of the major film companies like 21st Century Fox. Sure, you know that one. They're also used by Disney and the shorter Warner one. These are logo uh, things, video logos that have been made by these companies in order to reinforce their brand. And whenever you see these, whenever especially you see something like the Warner Brothers symbol or the Disney Castle, you know that it's by that brand. Uh, some bloggers have even come to start using uh, production logos, including uh, Darren Rose, who's pro blogger. Got a nice simple one without any sand. Um, or Michael Hyatt's got one and he has sound built into it as well. Hi, so these video production logos are used to reinforce brand um, and in this post I've written about the fact that I think that churches could reinforce their brand as well by using video production logos um, and I've given three examples of churches or Christian organizations who've used video production logos um, and this is one that Mars Hill have used but theirs is right at the end of the video um, so we'll just go to that to check it out Because if he's unwilling to prove himself today, he won't continue to prove himself. So this isn't actually a video production logo so much as a simple uh, fading in um, image. If we just view that again, um, today, he won't continue to you'll be able to see that, yeah, it's just a simple uh, image that fades over the video. Uh, the Sydney Uni Evangelical Union also has um, a video production logo that was made based on their new branding that was released. <laughs> So that's a really nice growing image of their logo that again reinforces the brand. And finally, this is an older one from St. Barnabas Anglican Church in Sydney. Which is what the old building was. Again, reinforcing the brand of these churches. So I think that a video production logo used on videos, especially if you've got a YouTube channel or are regularly uploading videos of sermons, uh, it can be very easy to do. And I've talked about three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And you can read about those over at the Church Mag post. Um, what I wanted to do was quickly show a video production logo that I've recently made for myself, and I've used it, made it using Motion. Um, now, I've made it... Um, in different ways using a camera as well uh, and simply what I've done is I've got an audio track um, that I've got out of GarageBand and I've um, also just put in some text so I'll show you what I've done so that's the production logo without the camera movement and then I just put in some camera movement to make it seem a little nicer now those grid lines don't actually come up in the video So I don't have my website, I've just got my name uh, and the tagline I'm using at the moment which is a Christian online because I seem to be involved in different projects. Um, and these video production, this video production logo I'm just going to slap on at the end of every video um, that I make uh, just to say hey it's by me and to reinforce uh, this font that I'm using currently for my name uh, across uh, my website. Um, so I thought finally just show off this production logo as a full screen um, full 1080p thing to finish with um, and I hope you've enjoyed this quick screencast um, about video production logos. Cheers, bye!